Hey everybody and welcome back to another Max Velocity weather forecast and in today's forecast we'll be talking about who will be seeing a white Christmas this year. Obviously we've had a pretty inactive December so far when it comes to snowfall but I do think that'll change as we head into the next few weeks with a much more active weather pattern that's ahead so we'll be breaking down everything that you need to know about if you will see a white Christmas this year and even if you don't will you be seeing snow by the end of December. Let's begin by prefacing what weather pattern we are currently in and there are two different weather patterns we have La Nina and El Nino and we are currently in an El Nino winter which essentially means our weather pattern is a lot less variable so what that means on the map here is that we have a jet stream that's going to be a lot straighter overall and it's usually further down to the south at least with our subtropical Pacific jet stream and what this is essentially going to do is keep a lot of areas off to the north and the northern tier of the United States much warmer during this time of the year now that does not mean all winter long it'll be warm, but overall, on average, we have warmer than usual temperatures during the winter. Additionally, the precipitation is on the lower spectrum, so basically meaning we have below average precipitation. Now, on the flip side of things, down in the southern tier from California back into Florida, right along the Gulf Coast in the southern plains, this is the area that we have a lot more activity, meaning it's going to be a lot wetter when it comes to the precipitation, and that can sometimes mean more snowfall, by the way. Additionally, it's also much colder colder than average and that's not going to really apply I think as much to this winter since we had such a hot summer I don't think this winter will be nearly as cold as what some people are prefacing this to be but it will likely be around average when it comes to the temperatures across the southern tier of the United States. And with that being said what we've had the last several winters is a La Nina weather pattern and what this entails is a much more active weather pattern across the northern tier of the United States and the reason why is because the polar jet stream is way more varied Variable. What that essentially means is that we have a lot more of these, which are basically large Arctic blasts in the United States. These happen a lot more frequently during this time of the year when it comes to a La Nina winter. Now, that does not mean during El Nino winter we won't see Arctic blasts. It just means it's less common overall. And again, notice that the weather pattern is entirely different, where colder than average weather is usually ongoing in the northern tier of the United States. A lot more precipitation is happening. And on the flip side of things, the southern tier is a lot drier and warmer, and usually there's not nearly as much severe weather in this region but obviously that's not always the case sometimes we have more active severe weather seasons in a La Nina winter it's just again it depends on year but overall the frequency of that is definitely on the lower side during a La Nina but again we are in an El Nino weather pattern for this winter here are the historical probabilities over the last 30 years, spanning from 1991 to 2020, in terms of where the highest likelihood essentially is of a white Christmas. And notice the further north you go, obviously the higher probabilities there are. The exception of that being across the Rocky Mountains, the white regions that you're seeing are pretty much 100% chances that there will be a white Christmas there since we're higher in elevation, and it's very typical that snow falls during this time of the year. There are some areas that are in a wild card position, meaning sometimes you do see snow and sometimes you don't but I did want to mention that even parts of like North Dakota, Minnesota, the Upper Michigan Peninsula and Northern Michigan have a high likelihood of seeing a white Christmas and that also includes parts of Northern New England but again notice there's a lot of wild card areas that includes areas like Chicago back through the Central Plains even the Ohio Valley I mean the chances range from 25 to 50 percent in much of the Ohio Valley Kentucky being the unfortunate area there where it's a very very low chance like less than 10 percent chance of you actually seeing some some sort of measurable snowfall back over in California those mountain that mountainous region also has a hundred percent chance and then on the west coast it's very 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 low unless we're talking about a higher elevation then we can go to the lol states which does not just include Florida obviously Florida there's almost no way you're going to be seeing snow at all this winter to begin with but if you're further up to the north even in areas like Arkansas central and southern Texas Louisiana Mississippi your chances of seeing a white Christmas to begin with historically are astronomically low I mean we're talking like a one to two percent chance at best in those areas so again that's what we're currently looking at at least in the historical probabilities now let's talk more about what will actually be happening this winter with the white christmas will we see a white christmas in the united states and who will be seeing it now here's the climate prediction center's forecast from fr friday the 22nd until tuesday the 26th this is right in the middle basically of christmas eve and christmas day and notice right now the forecast is above average precipitation is likely especially back down in the central and southern plains back in areas like 
Arizona and New Mexico. On the flip side of things, back up in like Montana, North Dakota, those areas likely not going to see really any rain or snow during this time frame. Same thing goes with the Northeast and New England. It's a higher likelihood than not that there won't be much rainfall or snowfall during this time frame. Again, this would include Christmas Day. I did want to preface as well that a large area from Florida back into the Midwest has a, a good shot at least of seeing some sort of rain and snow event, whether that is rain or snow. Obviously, Florida would not be seeing snow, but if you're further up to the north like the Midwest, there is a chance for maybe a little bit of snow near Christmas Day. And you will see that here in just a moment with the future radar. Here's the temperature outlook for the same exact time frame. This is where the kicker comes, is that we essentially have a very high likelihood that the temperatures will be above average for a large majority of the United States, including the Midwest, the Northern Plains, the Central Plains, the Southern Plains, basically anywhere in the United States, the temperatures are likely to stay above average for most of this time frame from the 22nd until the 26th, with the highest likelihood being in the darkest red area, that maroon shaded region in the Midwest, the Central Plains, and the Northern Plains. So obviously, this is kind of unfortunate news if you're looking forward to snow, but not all hope is lost, and you'll see why here in just a moment. Now, here's the snow depth forecast for the 19th. This is, again, on Tuesday. That's tomorrow. This is what we're looking at in terms of our snow depth forecast, and I want to point out a few things. Some of these areas obviously don't have snow on the ground, but the majority of them do. So the areas that have obviously snow on the ground right now are going to be like the pink areas or the blue areas. That's where there's at least an inch or two of snow on the ground as of now, which by the way, a white Christmas by definition is one inch or more of snow on the ground on that given day. The Rocky Mountains have plenty of snow as well. Even parts of the California mountain range also have some snow on the ground. Now, as we get closer to Christmas, this will change a little bit. The snow is going to melt even in the Ohio Valley back into the Midwest. Snow will melt. And this is by Christmas Eve at about six o'clock. Notice there's really not a whole lot of snow on the ground. The only areas with snow include the Rocky Mountains, which there's going to be a good amount of it on the ground across those areas, California mountain range, all the way back through Washington, and even parts of the Northeast. There might still be a coating to maybe a couple inches on the ground in Western New York or in Northwest Pennsylvania. Here's the deal, guys. This is not much of the United States that is currently going to have any snow on the ground, really, for Christmas Day. But here's where the exception comes into play. Here's the European model indicating some snow snow depth going into Christmas Day. Notice the European model actually does spew out a little bit of snowfall in parts of the Northern Plains, maybe even into Nebraska. Now let's check out the computer models on the long term and see what they're actually showing during this time frame. So over the next few days, high pressure are dominating most of the East Coast. There will be some rain going into the, about the 21st, 22nd, back down in the Southern and Central Plains. And eventually as we get closer to Christmas Eve, this is what we'll have to be watching for. Now the European model has been indicating at least some sort of snow event in the northern plains and then back into minnesota even into parts of the rocky mountains and this will be an area to watch for for perhaps some sort of snow event but i do want to mention this is still multiple days out and things could easily change and this is going to be something to watch for though if you're back up in the northern plains but bad news for really anywhere in the ohio valley or you know southeast obviously the southeast you have really no chance to begin with but as uh, southeast united states you're not gonna have a white christmas by any means this would be the wild card area though i'd say for any snowfall so that would include the midwest could we see some maybe in the Midwest? Will we see some maybe in the Northern Plains, perhaps the Central Plains? Could we even see some in the Texas Panhandle? All those areas are honestly in play. We're just going to have to refine the forecast over the next few days and see what ends up happening because this is definitely a possibility here in the United States. And just a heads up, this is a pre-recorded forecast from a couple of days ago since I am currently away without internet. So I just want to give you a heads up on that. Again, the data might be a little bit different by now. So just keep that in mind. But again, overall, white Christmas, very unlikely for a large chunk of the United States. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like button down below and subscribe if you've not already.